Okay, um, in this example, uh, we're told that the air temperature uh, T, uh, measured in uh, degrees uh, Celsius, um, X kilometers above a location uh, where the air temperature is uh, 20 degrees uh, Celsius, which is 68 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, at the surface is given by uh, this um, uh, linear function formula. So the air temperature is going to be uh, that ground temperature 20 minus 10 times uh, the altitude x uh, given in kilometers. And um, what we want to do is uh, find the slope of this line. This is a linear function formula. Uh, so we want to find the slope of this line and then interpret that slope um, as a rate of change uh, in a practical context. Um, so finding the slope is not the hard part of this problem. Uh, it's easy uh, to identify a uh, slope uh, from a linear function formula because that's always going to be the coefficient of uh, the input variable. Uh, so um, we can see here that the coefficient of the input variable is minus 10. It's not the constant 20. That means something different. Uh, but the slope uh, uh, is minus 10 because that's the coefficient of the input variable x. And so um, you know, we can write that down. Slope, uh, which is usually denoted by the uh, variable m, is uh, minus 10. Be careful now that you include the sign because that's important uh, as part of the interpretation of the slope. All right, so, um, so we know the slope is minus 10, and so how do we interpret that uh, as a rate of change uh, in a practical uh, context? Um, well, um, in general, uh, what the slope tells you is the um, amount that the output is going to change um, in a linear function when the input uh, increases by uh, one unit. So that's sort of the generic interpretation of the slope. Uh, in this case now, uh, uh, recall that the uh, output from this linear function is air temperature, and the input is uh, uh, altitude uh, measured in uh, kilometers. So um, uh, the slope is going to tell us uh, the change in the air temperature uh, as the altitude uh, increases by one unit, or in this case by one kilometer, because we're measuring the input here um, in uh, kilometers. Um, so let's see if we can um, uh, write that down. Um, so the air temperature Uh, changes by minus 10 degrees, well, a negative uh, a change is going to be a decrease. So we can say the uh, air temperature decreases uh, by uh, 10 degrees uh, Celsius um, as the uh, altitude increases by uh, one uh, kilometer. So you can write down here as the altitude increases by one kilometer, but probably a, a more normal way of uh, uh, stating that um, uh, would be uh, the air temperature decreases by 10 degrees uh, uh, Celsius per uh, kilometer um, um, of altitude. So um, when we increase our altitude by one kilometer, uh, the air temperature is going to decrease by uh, 10 degrees uh, Celsius. And that's our practical interpretation um, of the slope.